the lid. <laughs> Did you know the word alcohol comes from the Arabic word alcohol, meaning the essence of? There are many adults, college students, and even teens that are going out, having fun, partying it up, and having a drink. That's not where the problem lies. The problem lies where one drink turns into several drinks. The problem is, many of these people don't know, don't understand, or don't even care about the consequences and dangers of alcohol dependency or alcoholism. I've personally dealt with alcoholism in my life for about 15 years, whether it be through neglectful parents, losing friends in car accidents, or going back and forth between jails and courthouses. Today I'm going to talk about the symptoms of alcoholism, risk factors related to alcoholism, the health problems that can be caused by alcoholism, the diagnosis and treatments for alcoholism. Alcoholism is when a person continues to drink when they know they shouldn't or they know they have a problem and they choose to do it anyway. Now that's not to say that we can't go out and have a drink, have fun, even several drinks. The problem is when the drink becomes more important than family, friends, and even work. When the drink you have to have to get through the day. Alcoholism is considered to be a long-term illness or disease. And like most diseases, can be influenced by outside factors. These outside factors can put a person at a higher risk for alcoholism or alcohol dependencies. And it can be a combina it could be any one outside factor or a combination of a variety of them. Some of these factors are the age at which you start drinking. If you start drinking at a younger age, you are at a higher risk of becoming dependent on alcohol. Your gender, men are more likely to become dependent on alcohol than women. However, women are more likely to have serious health issues. Your family history. If a person has a parent or a close family member that suffered from alcoholism, then that person is also at a higher risk. And then we have our culture and our society. A lot of cultures deem it acceptable to have alcohol present at weddings, graduations, birthdays, holidays, and even some funerals. Our society also plays a part in glamorizing alcohol, giving it that good time feeling where you think you have to have alcohol just to have fun, and that's not the case. It's important to know these risk factors and others because it could save your life. There are many illnesses associated with alcoholism. Of course, the first ones that come to mind are liver disease and cirrhosis of the liver, or liver cancer. There are many other illnesses, including pancreatitis, cardiovascular disease, anemia, and other blood disorders. It can also affect infertility and cause erectile dysfunction problems. All of these illnesses and many others can be diagnosed the same way as alcoholism, by your doctor. The diagnosis of alcoholism is very simple. You go to your doctor if you think you have a problem, and your doctor will ask you a series of questions. And these questions are based on the frequency and the consumption of the alcohol over a given time. Depending on your answers, the doctor will determine the best treatment plan for you and your dependency on alcoholism. Because alcoholism is such an epidemic in our country and in this society, there are many available treatments. The first step in treatment is detoxification. This usually occurs in an inpatient facility and takes four to seven days in which there is no alcohol allowed so your body can cleanse itself of any of the alcohol in its system. After this process, your doctor is most likely going to prescribe an oral or injectable medication to help deter the desire to drink alcohol. With these medications, you're usually going to have symptoms of nauseousness or vomiting, so you don't want to drink. Cause, let's face it, who wants to throw up? For people that have a more serious problem 
for dependency on alcoholism, there are long-term treatment facilities or residential facilities. These treatment plans can take 30 days to six months, depending on the seriousness of your problem. During your stay at these facilities, it's common for a person to be counseled psychologically for an underlying issue such as depression, anger, self-esteem, or self-worth issues, depending on the person and what they're going through. Upon release of these long-term facilities, it's also common for the patient to stay in a treatment such as AA or seeing a therapist or going to group meetings, also with the oral or injectable medications. However, accepting there is a problem and recognizing that you need help is the first step in getting to your solution. So, now knowing the symptoms, the possible risk factors, the inevitable health concerns, and realizing that there is help out there, maybe alcohol dependency won't affect your life like it has mine. And I can only hope the information I've given you today allows you to help yourself and maybe others.